Hi, this is Andrea from Sony for Rumors. Uh, we are finally getting close to the A7R5 announcement next week, October 26th. So stay tuned on Sony for Rumors on that day for the live coverage. Today I will talk about the uh, specs I know are going to be nearly certain on the camera and some other unconfirmed rumors. Let's start with the things we think are going to be on the A7R5. First, the sensor is a 61 megapixel sensor. I don't know if it's exactly the same sensor as the predecessor or a new tweaked version. I've been told the image quality has been improved, but I don't know if that's due to the new BIOS processing engine that is going to be implemented on the E7R5. Um, what we also know is that the E7R5 will be the first camera with the new deep AI autofocus system from Sony with object recognition, something that from now on will be implemented on future cameras too. Hint E9 successor is likely to have this and um, it is also likely to be one of the next cameras coming uh, in 2023. Um, what else uh, can we expect on the E7R5? The 8K24P recording uh, cropped and uncropped full readout for 4K, 60p and 24p. It will also have a similar or same heatsink design as the E7S 3 which will allow for 8K recording up to 30 minutes. It will have, have of course a Cineton. It will also have 8 subs image stabilization but I don't know if that's a native stabilization or some kind of post-processed gyro version of stabilization. From what I understood, it sounds like it's indeed native and that alone would for me a big reason to step up from the A7R4 to the A7R5 uh, x subs really makes a huge difference. Then it will also have a new pixel shift function with movement correction. It will also have fully articulating LCD screen and I've been told the body looks like a uh, mix between the A7S3 and the A7IV. Now to the unconfirmed specs I got now, I'm sharing them for the first time in this video. Uh, please take them with a grain of salt, they, may be, they might be wrong or some might be right, I still don't know. I hope that after this video, trusted sources will send me some kind of feedback to say if they are indeed uh, correct. Um, one source, one new source told me the price should be close to $4,000, uh, exactly $3899. Um, he also told me that uh, the camera records uh, Super 35 4K, 4K crop from 6.2 oversampling. It also has S-Log3 60-bit RAW and uh, full HDMI port. And another source has also confirmed that uh, E7R5 has 61 megapixel sensor with a new BIOS processor and he says the BIOS processor makes a difference in image quality. Uh, I got nothing else than this. As soon as I have more info, I will share it. What I didn't get in the, the past weeks is any info about new lenses. So I guess it means next week we are only getting this camera and no new uh, lens. But let's hope I'm wrong. Anyway, I kindly invite you to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you get the notification as soon as I have a new video online with new info about the camera. See you soon, folks.